For those of you who follow my channel, you know that I love good tube amps, but almost as much as the amp themselves, I love the accessories that enhance the experience of using an amplifier. Now these could be things that, you know, alter the workflow, you know, change the tone, create some convenience, things like that. So what I wanna do today in the spirit of that is I wanna share three devices that are my favorite additions to the studio. These are accessories that work with my tube amps and I can't really move my head because they're all hiding right behind me. Anyways, all three of these have really changed the way I function here in my studio and I wanna share them with you. And in the spirit of Black Friday, there's a lot of great deals out there. It's probably the best time of year to top up on accessories and gear for your studio. So I've got some great deals I wanna share with you. It's all happening in this one video. Sound good? Let's roll. So for all the products that I'm gonna feature in the video today, I'm gonna to put links in the description. That's actually gonna take you to Sweetwater. This is not a sponsored video, but I have joined the Sweetwater affiliate program. So if you're in the market to buy something for your guitar, for your studio, simply clicking on that link and purchasing something at Sweetwater is gonna kick a little bit back to the studio here and help me bring more content to you. Because as much as I love making all of these videos, this poor guy has to eat because if he doesn't get food, he's gonna go hungry. I also have kids and a wife and things like that too, but look at him, do you want him to starve? Anyways, clicking on one of those links in the description where I'll have information for all the great deals uh, goes a long way to helping this channel and I do appreciate that. Anyways, the three accessories that I'm gonna feature here today, I've reviewed all of them this past year, so there will be links to the full reviews in the description, but each one of these devices has made a significant impact on the workflow here in my studio. So without further ado, why don't we jump in to number three. So number three on my list is a really interesting entry into my top three because I talk a lot about my tube amps and I've had a sort of a weird relationship with modeling. I mean, I get the convenience, absolutely, but I just like shaping my own tone. But this device has got me kind of looking at the modeling world very differently. And that's IK Multimedia's Tone X Capture. Now this allows me to capture my own amplifiers utilizing my computer. I don't need any additional hardware. I mean, capturing amps is certainly not a new thing, but now we can do it with software that comes with Tonex Capture as well. It ships with Tonex SE. That's the application that houses all sorts of amplifiers, pedals, and cabinets. But like I said, you can capture your own amplifier or your whole rig for that matter. It's a really interesting system. Now I've already reviewed this product, so let's take a look at some highlights so you can get to know uh, Tonex Capture a little better. Tone X Capture is a tone modeling and reamplification box. It connects in between your amp and your interface, allowing you to set optimal levels for recording, capturing, and reamping. You can capture the tone of your amp before it hits a speaker cabinet, or you can add a cab and even a pedal into your signal chain. And when you're not capturing your amp, you can also use it as a reamping box. So one other bonus feature of Tonex Capture is it's also a reamping box. So if you're mixing for other people and you're getting DI recorded guitars, or if you're recording your own guitars, you can record them direct, you can clean them up and then reamp them and try out different amplifiers. That's something that I haven't done a lot here in my studio, but I am gonna be doing some of that going forward and I'll probably be doing some videos about that. So definitely stay tuned for that. But uh, what a really flexible device, it really has changed my workflow here in the studio and it sits at number three. Without having any official data to back up this claim, I think it's safe to say the most popular accessory for an amplifier are pedals, right? But if you've only got a budget for one pedal and you're thinking maybe an overdrive pedal just to give you an extra gain stage, maybe you're thinking about a boost because you want to push your tube amp into some natural breakup, or maybe you need a little extra EQ perhaps to tighten up the bottom end, how do you decide? Well, at entry number two, I've got a pedal that contains all three of those features, and that's the Rev Tilt Overdrive Pedal. This is the Sean Tubbs Signature Pedal. You've got an awesome overdrive pedal here with a built-in boost that includes a tilt EQ and some filters here to roll off the bottom end. It's a feature-packed overdrive pedal. I did review this earlier this year. Let's take a look at some highlights. Now, in essence, we have two pedals in one here. We've got the overdrive on the left side. We've got standard uh, controls with bass and treble. 
You've got a volume and a gain control, nice soft touch switch here with a red indicator light. And uh, to the right, we have a built-in boost. Now we've got the standard boost adjustment here, but then these two functions here are really the secret sauce of this pedal. Now the tight switch gives us a little cut in the bottom end. Uh, we'll explore exactly what that's doing. And then the namesake of the pedal is a tilt EQ. Now, if you're not familiar with a tilt EQ, I can show you what that looks like. Let's take a look at the DAW here. I've got the Pro-Q3 EQ here. Now, basically a tilt EQ, you, you have a fixed point, and then when you make an adjustment, let's say you do a boost to the top end, you're gonna get the exact opposite effect on the bottom end. And the same holds true if you boost the bottom end, you're gonna lose some of the top end. The intangible with the Rev Tilt Overdrive pedal is that it's a great utility device in the studio. I mean, it's a great sounding overdrive pedal, you know, the flexibility with the boost, but having the Tilt EQ and these filters to roll off the bottom end allows you to position that guitar or prepare it uh, so it'll sit better in the mix. I mean, there's one thing to send a tone and then just have it processed so it fits in the mix, but you can deliver something that you're proud of that will sit well in the mix with minimal processing later on. And that's sort of the idea behind this pedal. Uh, that's something that uh, Sean Tubbs was thinking about when he co-designed it with Rev, was uh, a great utility overdrive pedal that would be great for recording sessions. And that's predominantly what I'm doing. So it's a great overdrive pedal and serves my functions really, really well. And on top of everything, it is available on sale for Black Friday. Sweetwater's got a great deal on this Rev Overdrive pedal. I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you've been thinking about picking it up, now's a great time. And if you hit that link, you definitely help out this channel. But the Rev Tilt Overdrive pedal sits firmly on my list at number two. Speaking of Rev, I've got an honorable mention. Now this is not an accessory, it's actually an amplifier. This is the Rev G20. Uh, Sweetwater's got this on sale for Black Friday. It was actually voted one of the top five amps with the best value for the money. And that money is even cheaper now because it's on sale for Black Friday. It's a dual channel amplifier with different aggression modes. Very, very flexible amplifier for recording and for live. So if you've been thinking about the G20, Sweetwater's got it on sale for Black Friday. I'll put a link in the description. So are you ready for number one on my list? Well, before I share that with you, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. It really helps this channel, and I really do appreciate that. If you wanna jump into some deeper conversations with me, some of my friends, I've got the Lonely Rockers Club on Facebook. The link is in the description. Hope to see you there. All right, now it's time for number one on my list. Now the technology contained inside of this device has been a game changer here for my studio. Actually, this device is the second version of this product that I've had here in the studio and it's been an absolute game changer. That might sound cliche, but it's true. If you're recording guitars in a home studio, the biggest problem for most people in a home studio is you can't crank your amplifiers. You just don't have that flexibility to do it all the time if you are sharing the space with someone else. Maybe you live in an apartment and you just can't do it. But if you want to dime your amplifier, there's only one way to do that, and that's recording your tube amp direct. And Two Notes' Torpedo Captor X is one of the best at doing that. Uh, you, you can record tube amps direct. It is onboard digital speaker sim, plus some other features here. It's really made recording guitars super easy, but I'm still shaping my own tone. Plus, uh, they have a whole myriad of uh, dynamic IRs because the cab IRs at two notes are almost virtual 3D cabinets where there's like hundreds of captures with each cabinet. So you can move around the microphones and tweak them to your heart's content and really come up with your own tones. It's really a great device. And if you are playing live, it's a great live device as well. It's been proven with all the pros out there now using the Torpedo Captor X. Well, I looked at this device as actually as a practice tool because that's one thing that's overlooked with this device is not only is it a great recording device, but it's also a great practice tool. Let's take a look at the highlights from that video. Now, if you're earlier in your journey and you're contemplating going from, let's say, a small practice amp, or maybe you've got some kind of digital device, and you're thinking either an amp or a modeler, now, modeling emulates real amplifiers. And to me, that classic relationship between the player, the guitar, and the amplifier, it's just so iconic and so integral in shaping tone, because really, what is tone? I look at it as a chain reaction that's conceived up here. It's created with these. It's translated with one of these. It's amplified over here, and then it's distributed somewhere down here. Now, the speaker cabinet tends to be the bottleneck, especially in a practice amp situation, because you're, if you're in an environment where you just can't crank it, well, what's the point? Well, the Torpedo Captor X is, is gonna give you something that's gonna feel familiar, especially if you're coming from the digital world, where the cabinets are all gonna be in the digital realm, and you can shape them and change them just like you would in a modeling system, but that origin of tone is happening with a real amplifier, and I think that is the ultimate practice amp experience 
It certainly has other uses too. And that Torpedo Captor X is going to grow with you if you get into recording and live and things like that down the road. When using the Captor X as an attenuator, the setup is really simple. Start by taking your standard speaker cable that you'd normally use with your amp and cabinet, but connect it from your amp speaker output into the Captor speaker input. Then take a second speaker cable and connect it to your cab. The capture has three attenuation settings from low to full. Low will give you an attenuation of minus 38 dB. You can crank your amp to 10 and still sit comfortably beside it. My amp is completely cranked. I can still have a conversation with you. This next setup is gonna allow you to use your old tube amp with headphones. And trust me, it's a truly immersive experience and it's a virtually silent solution for everyone else in your space. Much like the previous setup, you can patch your amp into the speaker in on the Captor X. While you can't keep the attenuator set up in place at the same time, you'll need to disconnect the cabinet if you want a silent solution. Then plug your favorite headphones into the quarter inch headphone jack on the front panel. The Captor X comes preloaded with six full setups that include Dyn IR cabinets, mics, reverbs, and all of the tone shaping tools you need. This is fully customizable. You control the volume with the output dial. The voicing dial allows you to adjust your mid-range to find the right balance, and the space knob gives you control over your room effects and lets you adjust the width of the stereo field. So the intangible for me with the Torpedo Captor X is it has likely saved my marriage. No word of a lie. I like to crank my amps, but my poor wife doesn't like loud music. And you know what, it's not fair. So I can enjoy the benefits of a dime Marshall amplifier or whatever I'm using, and uh, I don't have to drive my wife crazy. Uh, my kids could probably tolerate it once in a while. In fact, they're probably louder than a tube amp once in a while. Uh, but I can record silently and still have the benefits of a dimed amplifier. And uh, plus with all of the other features that we talked about, it's an extremely flexible tool, whether you're in the studio or live. Now, if you've been, if you've been thinking about getting this, uh, Black Friday is a great time to consider it. Sweetwater's got it on sale. Uh, there's a couple different models of this, so make sure you check the specs and see which one works best for you. But I will put links in the description to those. It is on sale, a great time to check out the Torpedo Captor X for yourself. Well, there's my top three accessories for an amplifier. I uh, hope you found that interesting or useful. Perhaps it's inspired some ideas. If you feel like shopping, I've got links in the description. You can click the general link to Sweetwater if you are looking to buy something else. Like I said, it kicks a little bit back to the studio, helps me bring more content like this to you. It doesn't cost you a penny and it really helps me out. And I really appreciate that. I've also taken the time to curate some other plugins, uh, which I haven't featured in this video, but if you're maybe looking for an Epson plugin or something like that, I've curated a few good ones and I've put a link in the description to some interesting sales if you're looking to save some money and maybe spend your dollars there. Any purchase you made with any of the affiliate links does help this channel and I really appreciate that. Well, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you want to do a deeper dive with me, I'm on Patreon. I have affiliate links, I have merch, it's all down in the description. It all helps and I really appreciate that. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll and I look forward to seeing you again in another video.